That depends on the definition. The women of America, they owe you their thanks. And uh, seeing as they're not here. Captain, we're ready for you, if you're not otherwise occupied. Agent Carter, wait. Looks like finding a partner wasn't that hard after all. Peggy, that's not what you thought it was. I don't think anything, Captain, not one thing. You always wanted to be a soldier, and now you are, just like all the rest. Well, what about you and Stark? How do I know you two haven't been fond doing? You still don't know a bloody thing about women. Fondue's just cheese and bread, my friend. Really? I didn't think... Nor should you, pal. The moment you think you know what's going on in a woman's head is the moment your goose is well and truly cooked. Me, I concentrate on work, which at the moment is about making sure you and your men do not get killed. Carbon polymer should withstand your average German bayonet, although uh, I'm just not going to attack you with a pocket knife. I hear you're uh, kind of attached. It's handier than you might think. I took the liberty of coming up with some options. This one's fun. She's been fitted with electrical relays that allow you to... What about this one? No, no, that's just a prototype. What's it made of? Vibranium. It's stronger than steel and a third the weight. It's completely vibration absorbent. How come it's not a standard issue? That's the rarest metal on Earth. What you're holding there, that's all we've got. You quite finished, Mr. Stark? I'm sure the captain has some unfinished business. What do you think? Yes, I think it works. I had some ideas about the uniform. Whatever you want, pal. 